This is an ABC News special report. Good morning. I'm George Stephanopoulos at ABC News headquarters down here in Times Square. And we're interrupting your regular program because ABC News has learned that Anwar Awalaki, the American-born al-Qaeda operative who's been living in Yemen, Homeland Security officials call him the most significant threat to U.S. Homeland Security, has been killed. He's been tracked for months by U.S. security. There had been a failed attempt on Awalaki back in May. He got away, but this time we can confirm that Anwar Awalaki, the most dangerous al-Qaeda operative in the world today, has been killed. He had been linked to the 9-11 attacks and in more recent years had been linked to the Fort Hood shooting, to the potential bombing in Times Square, and to the failed underwear bombing back in 2009. Uh, U.S. officials had considered him after the killing of Osama bin Laden, the most dangerous al-Qaeda operative in the world. As we said, he had escaped uh, in attacks in times past. He had continued to be tracked by U.S. officials, and now he has been killed. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, had been tracking Anwar Awalaki for years, and he files this obituary. The United States had been seeking to kill or capture Awalaki for almost two years. Awalaki is a terrorist. Probably the most significant risk to the U.S. homeland. We certainly want to neutralize him. Born in the United States, in New Mexico in 1971, Anwar Awalaki went to college in Colorado before heading up mosques in San Diego and Virginia. He presented a calm demeanor in a 2001 Washington Post video profile. I mean, Islam is a religion of peace. But only a year later, Al-Awlaki would move to Yemen, his family home, and the place where American authorities say he began to use his internet preaching to recruit terrorists to wage jihad against the United States. To never underestimate the power of fear, especially when the enemy of Allah hears Allahu Akbar. He could talk to them in an American vernacular uh, with arguments that they understood. U.S. authorities say the accused gunman at Fort Hood, Major Nidal Hassan, killed 13 soldiers after al provided religious justification for jihad in a series of emails. al was also accused of organizing the attempt to bring down an American jetliner over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. U.S. officials say the so-called underwear bomber was advised by al prior to the mission. And that there were many, many more drawn to al-Qaeda training camps in Yemen by al message to do battle against the United States. I think taking him out of the picture uh, is a major achievement in terms of American security. In fact, in terms of immediate threat, it could prove to be more significant than the death of Osama bin Laden. Brian Ross, ABC News. A major development overnight in the war against al-Qaeda. One more time, Anwar al-Walaki, the al-Qaeda operative based in Yemen, born in the United States, educated in the United States, has been killed. Our Martha Raj reports that he had been tracked for months by U.S. security. They knew exactly where he was and were just waiting for the right moment. That moment has come today. We'll have much more on Good Morning America coming up at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And, of course, you can follow this all day long at abcnews.com. I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York.